Okay, I know what you're thinking, this is like any other normal screw gun, but watch this. No fingers? Okay, so Phil from Festool here working for ITS TV, and this is the dual drive from Festool. This is a drywall gun with a difference. I don't have to make the effort basically to pull the trigger while I'm putting screws in. What's the advantage? It means that when I'm working above my head, I have my whole hand, I can push up against the machine. If I'm working up against the wall, again, I can use a hold of my palm of my hand and my forearm to make sure I can just work nicely and easily. That's the big advantage of using the Duo Drive for Festival. The Duo Drive powered by an 18 volt battery and again, 4.2 amp hour. This clips on underneath. On the side here, two clips, depending on whether you want to use it on your pocket or you can use a belt clip as well. These are all powered by the brushless motor from Festool. Keeps the machine light, keeps it efficient, and keeps it working. But I know what you're asking as well. What's the advantage of using a machine which you only <coughs> use a power and you put the screw in? It's quite obvious, really. You're using less battery, there's no wear on the motor, so therefore you last, or your machine lasts, for a longer period of time. In this mode, we're looking at nearly just over 3,000 screws per battery charge which means that you can work really efficiently with plasterboard without having to stop. Advanced of a battery machine, there's no cables. I can quite easily reach above my head and I haven't got to worry about where the cable is. It's an extremely light machine, but very well balanced. And of course with Festool, ergonomics are all that comes into it because if you're comfortable when you're working, you're going to work a little bit quicker. Therefore, you make a little bit more money at the same time. So, looking at some of the features of the machine, this green collar here, each click that you hear is one tenth of a millimetre. When you're putting the plasterboard screw, you want to take a small amount of paper into the hole just to seal it up. And with this fine adjustment on the side, one click, really simple, easy to use, it means that you're going to get the fixing into the plasterboard at exactly the right time each and every time you do it. With the jaw drive, with the magazine, the screws are fed through without stretching the collation. If the, if the collation stretches, it means that you're going to collate, the collation will run out and you end up with the jam. But with this machine, no matter how fast and hard you work, it's not going to jam. I'll give you one example. But that's not the only trick. If the magazine is in your way, take it off, put it around at 90 degrees, no fixings on there, all you do is take it off and away we go again. If you want to change screw size, I don't need to do anything else, all you do, just pull the screws through. I don't need to play around at the front to adjust anything either. So, if you take this off, you then have access to the posi bit head, and again, if this needs changing, you just pull it out. So, feed it back through the hole and you're ready to rock and roll. Even with collated screws that have been partly used, you can still feed these up. Just push it all the way through, come to the end, and then line up your first screw and you're ready to go again. However, when you use a drywall gun, obviously you're going to be um, exposing a little bit of the plasterboard dust to the machine, so you also need to clean this out. But with other plasterboard guns, there's a slight problem. Breaking them down into individual components is really difficult. But you watch this. So, pull the magazine off, and then we come to the business end. Whenever you put a screw in, it's actuated. So, obviously, it's going to need cleaning out now and again. We push this down, we can take off the adjustment for the size screw you're using. This will take up to a 55mm screw. But then, we push this in, push it down, and then we can take this out. Take the spring out, put it into the individual components, and if we look here, you'll see that anything that's the moving component has a stainless steel section on it. This prevents wear and tear on the components. All you need to do is dismantle this, give it a clean out, and put it back together. So it's quite simple, anything green has a function, so you pull this forward, 
push down on the black part here and we're just going to remove that. We can then expose the spring and then take this out. And again, if you look on the inside, you can see where the stainless steel is. And these two rollers, and all you do, give them a clean out. And their assembly is exactly the same as removal. Push the spring down, bend this forward a little bit. And that's it. We then take the spring and the main body. The spring goes into there. The round section is inserted onto the spring. And you just push these two together and you'll feel a small click. There we are. And then we can take the mouth, push down on the green section of the front, and we're ready to go. The whole process takes a very short period of time, but it means that if you need to clean this out, you're always ready for work. And that's the DWC. 4,500 RPM drywall gun from Festool, now available at ITS.